Hi students, welcome to yet another session of my class. We are discussing the characteristics or properties of language. In the previous class, we discussed five characteristics of language. Let us continue the topic. Next point that is sixth one is language is a form of social behavior. As we already discussed in the previous class that language has to be learned. This learning is possible only in society. A human child learns to speak the language of the community or the group in which he or she is placed. For example, a Chinese infant. If placed in an Indian family will easily learn to speak an Indian language. That means he or she learns the language of the social setup in which he or she grows. Language is thus a form of social behavior. Seventh point, language is a symbol system. We all know the term symbol. It is a concrete event, object or mark that stands for something relatively abstract. For example, the cross sign, that symbol, that means cross. It stands for the great sacrifice of Jesus Christ, that is his suffering and death on the cross. It is also a symbol of a Christian. Similarly, words are symbols that stand for objects. The symbol table stands for an object consisting of a wooden board supported by four or three legs. That means a speaker or a writer wants to communicate with another fellow being, puts this message across in the form of symbols in speech or writing. Yes, the receiver or the message who shares a common chord with the center of the message decodes this message sent in the form of symbols and interprets these to arrive at a certain meaning. This language is a symbol system though different languages use different symbols. Next eighth point is productivity. Language is creative and productive. It means a user of a language does not always produce only sentences that he has heard or learned previously. Then on the basis of his or her knowledge of the grammar and syntax of the language, he or she can produce new sentences, write new poems or produce many other kinds of new literature. People can produce an infinite number of sentences on the basis of the possibility that they are facing within the framework of the grammar of the language being used by them. This property of language is called productivity. Then ninth point, interchangeability. It is an important characteristic of human language that it permits a speaker to become a listener and vice versa without impairing the function of language. That means communication. This property has been named as interchangeability. It can also be called reciprocity. That means any speaker or center of a linguistic signal can also be a listener or receiver. That quality is called interchangeability. These are the nine points of properties of language. To be concluded the topic by asking one question. Why we study or learn language? Yes, the entire human progress, everything that distinguishes humans from animals depends on language only. At present, language is a medium of literature, science and technology, computers and cultural exchanges between social groups and the most powerful, convenient and permanent means of communication in the world. It is present everywhere in all human activities thoughts, dreams, prayers, meditations and relations. Yes, it is only through language that knowledge and culture are passed on from one generation to another. Thus, all human civilization and knowledge are possible only through language. Students, I think all of you understand this topic. It is important for both short question and essay question. 
next topic we are going to discuss is language variation as we all know that changes in language are bound to occur it is quite natural it cannot be static and fixed language seems to be in a state of continual transition because of its cultural transmission from one generation to another each new generation has to find a way of using or learning the language of the previous generation language change or variations in language can be studied mainly on two dimensions one is diachronic or historical and the other one is synchronic or language study at a particular period of time that diachronic and synchronic study we will discuss in later classes here we are going to discuss the regional varieties of language and social varieties of language and these two headings come under synchronic study of language that means language variation associated with the place region social or contextual differences etc that means language study at present point of time every language has a lot of variation especially in the way it is spoken on the basis of above the differences then synchronic variations of english can be studied under three headings varieties due to language contact varieties of dialect then varieties of register here we are going to discuss the regional variation in language yes let us discuss in detail regional variation in language first one is dialect what do you mean by this dialect the variety of a language according to the user is called dialect it is determined by the speaker or user social and uh, geographical background etc language may vary on the geographical plane from one region to another in britain there are numerous dialects of english according to the area where these are spoken for example the lancashire dialect the scottish dialect the yorkshire dialect and so on dialectal variations are also determined by social hierarchy and social class for example the aristocrats in london uses one variety of english and the lower class uses another variety dialects are at times conditioned by religion and caste also also within the same religion as yes, dialectal differences are conditioned by caste for example the nambudri dialect the highest hindu brahmin kerala of kerala this means that within a given language we have a number of dialects between two dialects there may be grammatical lexical and phonological differences even though they may have the same oral system of language in common let us discuss the examples phonological level differences there is general american and rp are two different dialects of english last r in rp its pronunciation is last and general american last dance see the differences yes then lexical differences in us gas british petrol then candy chocolate differences at the syntactic level that is in us different than but in british different from yes look at the examples and then morphological level dive dove that is a past form in us british dive dived that is a past form in british then spelling us program british program that a color a spelling difference so in simple words by dialect we mean variation or divergent form of a language which are different from one another only in certain features and even in these only to such an extent that the 
speakers of the different dialects are mutually intelligible so pronunciation of words and structures of a language may vary according to the region education and association etc of the user of the language the same language may have different regional varieties the variety of a language used by a particular group of individuals is called a dialect that means the dialect is user oriented then dialects are of two types regional dialects and class dialects or social dialects the dialect spoken in a particular geographical area is called a regional dialect for example yorkshire kentish etc are regional dialects of english regional dialects are now dying out the growth of education the spread of newspapers magazine radio and television have been the chief reasons for the leveling of dialectical variations within a regional dialect there may be another variation based on the education occupation and socio economic status of the speakers dialects based on such a social stratification stratifications are called social dialects for example in kerala the trichur dialect is a regional dialect and nambudri dialect is a caste dialect in which both from the same language malayalam examples of class dialects that is upper class dialect low class dialect etc this is important for short question dialect next term is dialectology study of dialects in greater detail is called dialectology next point is sociolect at the social level or a class dialect used the members of a particular group of a speech community is called sociolect for example slang used by young people next we have we are going to discuss pidgin Pidgin language is a special language with a very limited vocabulary and limited structures used for purposes like trade etc by those people who have no common language between themselves such pidgin languages have come up to be used at several places where speakers of two different languages meet for specific purposes for example fish traders of india and sri lanka such pidgin languages were also called bazar languages in the islands of west indies and the pacific uh, pidgins continued to be the languages spoken even when the initial purpose of trade no more existed some examples of pidgin are i go go market it's a cameroon pidgin i chow chow for eat it is a chinese pidgin then plenty man for many men is a malaysian pidgin next we are going to discuss creole when a pidgin language comes to be used for a long period by a community as a whole and it develops its own vocabulary and structure it becomes a creole it is the product of two different languages originally used by the speakers a creole may arise when a pidgin becomes the first language of the community and begins to be used in a wider range of communicative functions it becomes a new restructured system though it may still not be used in very formal contexts examples are jamaican creole haitian creole etc next point is esperanto what do you mean by this esperanto esperanto is a theoretical language to be used by all people all over the world some people continue to make an attempt to evolve such a world language based on the vocabulary and codes of important languages in the world next one is diglossia what do you mean by this diglossia sometimes a speech community uses two dialects but there is a strong tendency to use one of these for special prestigious or formal occasions this prestigious dialect is called 
ഹൈ ആൻഡ് ദ ഇൻഫോമൽ കോമൺലി സ്പോക്കൺ ഡയലക്ട് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ലോ ദീസ് ടു ആർ നോട്ട് അലൌഡ് ടു ഇന്റർമിംഗിൾ സച്ച് എ യൂസ് ഓഫ് ടു ഡയലക്ട്സ് ബൈ എ സ്പീച്ച് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഡയഗ്ലോസിയ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഹൈ ആൻഡ് ലോ തമിൽ ഹൈ ആൻഡ് ലോ അറബിക് എക്സെട്ര നെക്സ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഈസ് ഇഡിയോലക്ട് വിത്തിൻ എ ഗിവൺ ഡയലക്ട് വൺ മേ ഫൈൻഡ് ഡിഫറൻസസ് ഓഫ് സ്പീച്ച് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസ് നോ ടു സ്പീക്കർ സ്പീക്ക് എക്സാക്ട്ലി എലൈക്ക് the term idiolect is used to refer to the idiosyncrasies of an individual speaker one more point we have to discuss in this area is bilingualism that we will discuss in the next class hope all of you understand this session there is an assignment for you write a note on the properties of language and write about the regional variations of language write your homework and send back to me thank you have a nice day see you again